Scrooge refers to me as the ghost of Christmas past. Choosing money over people turned him into an outcast. Why has a come here and attempt to change his ways so he might consider loving and respect the holidays? First place, I took him back to his own town. Went into his schoolhouse and all that he did was frown. Scrooge had to stay there at Christmas all alone, ignored by other kids who just went back to their own homes. Next Christmas, accompanied by a sister fan, told him he was coming home for Christmas and their trip began. After that, took him back to a place of awe. His apprenticeship went on Christmas, they got off. But the hardest scene fell on Scrooge just like a hammer. His future wife broke it off with him, she couldn't enamor. A guy like him, who now lacks so much joy and love. She flew away into the sunset like a morning dove. Scrooge had heavy breathing, he can't take it anymore. But then his old loves with her spouse years afterwards. Talking about how Scrooge still retains his rod and mask. Yeah, this was just the first spirit goes to Christmas past. Three spirits, that's what Molly said. From knocker to doorstep, he came with a message and told it straight from Scrooge's bed. Past, present, future, yet to come. They showed him his life so that he could reflect and make Christmas a day not so blind. He quickly touched his robe and then we were away. I'm the ghost of Christmas present, took him to the current day. Out in the streets, full of play and laughter. Smells of food and joyful woos, scraping snow from rafters. Next place we go, exploring the Cratchits. Such joy and prosperity that no one could outmatch it. But poor tiny Tim, so crippled and weak. His family knew he wasn't at the best he could be. It seemed as did Scrooge. He asked, will he'll be fine? I told him, unless the future's altered, he'll certainly die. Now traveling through the cities, observing others' homes. With families and relatives who just seem to be prone from any hatred or violence or darkness or hate. Like a Christmas miracle just brought them together by fate. Finally, we end up at his kind nephew Fred. Where he seemed to be defending Scrooge the fight of his friends. He said he felt bad for him and wished he might join. But Scrooge was so dark it wasn't a flip of a coin. Now awaiting minutes before I take my leave. Scrooge sees two children what I wanted him to receive. One was named Want, one was named Ignorance. I told him beware, don't get confused with other differences. The bell struck twelve as I disappeared. I wonder if my journey has affected his year. Three spirits, that's what Marley said. From knocker to dark time, he came with a message and taught a trick from Fridge's bed. Past, present, future, yet to come. They showed him his life so that he could reflect him at Christmas a day not so glow. He woke up in the morning, I was there. I was the last spirit in the air. He questioned, but answers I didn't share. With my dark rose, I knew that he was scared. The journey began in a busy street. Filled with talking, it's where people meet. Businessmen were joking about the deceased. But Scrooge had no clue who it could be. Now to a place Scrooge didn't know. Where grime covers even rainbows. No people were going to and fro. It's a pawn shop with people get in what they owed. One woman who presented what she found, showing curtains and sheets in a mound. These were the demands things she sold for some pounds. Meanwhile, Scrooge watched in a stound. He thought now that the dead man could be him. Suddenly, the room changed to be dim. With a bed and a corpse, it was grim. And he had no power to see the limbs. Then he had a question for the asking. Who felt emotion for this man's passing? So I took him to a couple at the dinner table. Who were happy not to owe a pay bill. But Scrooge wanted to see sensitivity. And off to Cratchit's, not for festivity. It started out with tears over their son. But then they were back to having fun. Scrooge sensed that the parting time was near and wanted the identity of the dead man to be clear. So I continued to the place to find the truth. On the way he saw another man in his booth. Once back on track we arrived at the churchyard. Looking over grades I stood like a guard. 
the grave had an inscription that was huge. It simply said, Ebenezer Scrooge. Three spirits, that's what Marley said. From knocker to doorstep, he came with a message and taught it straight from Trish's bed. Past, present, future yet to come. They showed him his life so that he could reflect and make Christmas a day not too long.